Would you like the combination with the group he was in with and what it can do together, he and then some of those guys? Yeah, I like it. I think we specifically looked at him and our man together, um, especially we had Fred and Reed out there with those two a lot, and then Steven. So trying to match some size and athleticism and all that with the smaller backcourt, and obviously Steven adds to that as well. So like what I saw with them, um, got three really good facilitators we had up into that group, and then uh, some really good defenders with size behind the smaller guards, and wanted to get a look at it and like what we saw. Yeah. Is that just experiment what you just described, just to take a look, or is it something you're planning? Yeah, to take a look, but uh, see if we felt comfortable with it. I mean, you know, we, you know, when you look at our man and Tari, there are two of the guys that can go from, you know, in our man's case, one through four, Tari, two through four, or whatever, and so, um, Right, they were a little bit smaller at the guards, so we liked them out there instead of a Jalen or a smaller wing. And so, um, something we looked at lineup wise and want to get those guys in. Got to look to them. San Antonio kind of sagged off one man. He hit that three from the top of the key. Were you happy to see that? And how regular do you think three pointers can be part of this? They should deny it. Yeah, you I think one last game the same way as well. We obviously encourage him to you know, get to his spacing and, and specifically in the corners. He works extremely hard at that, but. Um, his, his, but the thing with him is we are telling him don't take the shot that they want you to take. Take when you're comfortable, whenever you want to. And obviously he's been working all offseason on it, so the shot looks much more smooth and confident. And so it's going to be great. Um, like the fact that he will take it and not shy away from it, but at the same time, when they do back up, he takes up that space and attacks downhill, which is as hard to guard. Um, but he's willing to take it, and the main thing is like when you take what you want to, not when they're trying to bait you into it. How do you just assess where you're at after these movies? games? Some good, some bad, as always. Um, you know, we were really good in certain areas. I think tonight was the most aggressive. We were on the offensive basket after it. Transition was great. The pace was, but it was a little too sloppy in transition. Uh, 12 turnovers first half. Uh, majority of those in transition. And, you know, you end up with uh, 14 fast break points, and you should be around 30 if you can cover it execute there. So um, some good, some bad. We understand playing in a faster pace is going to, some of that's going to happen, but um, we got to clean that up and have certain guys look a little bit more comfortable and, and transition when they're pushing their hand What are kind of the priorities now for the next five days? A little bit of rest, um, you know, and then continue to build on what we're doing. Uh, it's an opportunity. Obviously, you want to keep our conditioning up and get some practice in there, but kind of start to fine too on the things that worked well in the preseason and then uh, Start prepping for Charlotte on Tuesday. Is there a percentage you'd like to see Jalen get to from three this year? Does his progression this year remind you of anyone else you've coached over the years? Yeah, I mean, I might won't really say a percentage. It's just uh, the recognition of when the shot is there and taking it. I think at times last year he's hesitant on certain things, but now he's much more definitive on when he wants to take it, what the defense is doing. So his, his recognition is better as far as that. I think that'll increase his numbers alone, and then it starts to open up everything else for him. You know, he can't go under as much, start to chase over, he gets downhill, gets everybody else involved. So, more so than a percentage and number, I think taking the right shot and not turning those down, but it's, uh, recognition is so much better now. He looks so much more crisp and confident when he has already been going under. Is team volume of three pointers, is that something you're continually harping on? Is that the idea for you and your team? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we got to have guys that are confident to shoot it and get to the proper spots. And, you know, we made a lot of good, great extra passes tonight to get wide open looks. And that's all you do with the ass for when we knock it down and you won't put down, taking the right shots and get to our spacing and really encouraging an extra pass. And so, uh, for us, you know, the first quarter we were one for seven and seven is not enough, especially when they're back in the paint and doing some of the hedging, hard hedging they were doing. Um, we shouldn't have more out. More up, but um, to finish with 43 is a good number and uh, missed a few wide open, but got 35%.